Look how many HQ Space Marines get. Craziness. Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my in-depth review of the new Space Marine Codex. Out now. It's going to be awesome to talk about it today. So today for the HQs, I'm going to talk about my HQs today as I normally do. Um, it's going to be an interesting time. There are so many HQs in the Space Marine Codex that frankly it's just dizzying how many people. So I would do a brief overview because I don't have... There's 18 pages of like HQs in this codex. I don't have time to go through all those today in this video. That's okay. So we'll basically sum up, you know, the main differences between this codex and the previous data slate. Um, since the rules have already been out for a while and people are quite familiar with what space marines are capable of these days. So there were a few points adjustments in uh, the 8th edition new codex. Um, they all went down, so that was cool. Nothing really got more expensive. Um, the big ones were Terminator armor. So Captain and Terminator armor is now 105 base points. Um, points for it with no, no war gear. It used to be 122. Um, the other thing was like a Chaplain Terminator armor is 115. It used to be 115. Sorry, uh, uh, Librarian Terminator armor is 143. It used to be 145, so it went down two points. Um, the big thing that they removed was in the... Honestly, there was Chaplain on a bike, and I don't believe that's available anymore. Now you can give them a jump pack, but um, still for 90 points. Uh, before it was 90 points, but and not, there's no more bike option. So maybe that was because it was a Codex entry specifically, but I think it was a generic Space Marine entry for the HQs, and now it's it's gone. So I thought that was interesting. And of course they added some things, the Primaris Captain, um, which is 87 ba points base. Um, the Primaris Librarian, which is 80, 93 points base. The Primaris Chaplain, uh, 85 points. Uh, Tech Marines got cheaper. They went from 58 points down to uh, 45 points. And there used to be a Tech Marine on a bike. And again, I think that option has been taken off. Or maybe you can just add a bike. I'm pretty sure. But uh, the previous data slates had specifically Tech Marine on a bike. And in this codex, it doesn't implicitly mention that. So that was kind of interesting overall. Um, but yeah, let's go through the, the, CODIS, the, uh, the Codex, the Space Marines. Now, obviously, I've already gone through the Warlord traits in my previous video and the disciplines and all that stuff, and it's all good. So let's just keep going and go through the giant amount of HQs, and I'll just briefly skim over them um, because there's just there's 18 pages of it. If I tackled a page a minute, it would be on the high end, and you guys don't want to watch an hour-long video of me talking about HQs for Space Marines. Of course, there's Marnius Kalgar. Uh, still same points cost, pretty much same stat line as before. Uh, not much has changed, I'm pretty sure, for any of the... Uh, very little changed, I'm pretty sure, for anybody of the HQs. Other than, I guess, the points cost that I mentioned earlier. And uh, the big thing is now Robo Gilliman... Nope, he still was a Lord of War. Now he's still a Lord of War. He's the only Lord of War in the Codex. Uh, Marnius Kalgar has gone down by three power points. Um, maybe he changed. Oh, I'll take a look at the characters. Let's take a look at the named characters points. I wasn't comparing those. Um, named characters. Let's go through this. Interesting. Um, Lysander, 150 still. 32. Uh, Cassius went down greatly, went from 138 in the data slate to 98 points. Um, Grimaldus stayed the same, Tigurius stayed the same, Emperor's Champion, 75 points before it was, yep, same. Um, Halbrecht, 170, 170, yep, they're pretty much the same, like I don't see that many points difference. Um, Shrike is, yep, yeah, 150 still. Yeah, it's fun to compare these things. Uh, Kalgar, actually Kalgar got cheaper. Marnius Kalgar dropped 50 points. He was 250 points in the data slate. Now he's 200 points, so that's good. If you were an, if you're an alternate player, that'll be good. Uh, Cantor, 
is 170 base. Yep, still same. Ruby Gilman still 360. Cronus, Cronus dropped. Sergeant Cronus dropped from 58 points to 35. Sergeant Telian dropped from 89 to 75. And Vulcan is the same at 154. So there we go. Points cost for everybody. Good stuff. So Ruby Gilman is pretty much the same. Let's go through these guys one by one and just to compare. But uh, as I said, there's a lot of similarities, of course, between these books. And they're pretty much identical. Yep. Check um, your mask. Yeah, the same. So Marnius Kelgar is the same Marnius Kelgar as before. If you really liked him, he'd be awesome. You could take him in Artificer Armor. Uh, the reason why you'd want to take him in Artificer Armor is um, he gets plus one to his movement. He's, uh, let's see, lower, lower wounds and probably has... I don't know. Just some different rules. He's an Iron Halo. That gives him an extra bonus, you know. He's an Iron Halo if you take him just as a standard Marnius Kelgar. And, uh, yeah, but he loses his Deep Strike ability. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, and he's not available. Marnius Kelgar, in the new book, he doesn't have that option. That's what I was about to say. Oh, that's what I was about to say. He doesn't have that option of taking it, taking, um, Artificer Armor. What does he come base with? Uh, no, Armor of Ent. Oh, Alright, so there was a change to Marnius Kelgar. Now he just has a 4 up and vulnerable save, and he's cheaper. So, is the Armor of Antilicus. Marnius Kelgar has a 4 up and vulnerable save. In addition, all damage suffered by Marnius Kelgar is halved. Rounded up. That's not bad. Keeps him alive. Cool stuff there. Cool stuff there. He's a Master Technician. Uh, master tactician. If your army's battleforged, you receive an additional two command points, and Marnius Kelgar is your warlord. Uh, next, we have Chief Ta Librarian Tigurius. Um, he is still movement six inches, weapon skill three, plus skill three up, uh, sorry, three plus. Strength four, toughness four, four wounds, three attacks, leadership nine, three up save. Um, pretty much nothing has changed with him. Nope. Except for the fact that now it has to be Ultramarines. Um, as I said, you have um, what they really did in this codex was they specified the exact chapter. So now it is Master Prescience at the start of each of your opponent's stream phase like an Ultramarines unit within six inches of Tigris. It can't just be a Space Marines. It has to be Ultramarines. So this prevents you from mixing and matching your HQs with your chapters. I use this occasionally. I like to bring Tigris in some of my lists, and I can't do that anymore. At least not for the buffs. Uh, Chaplain Cassius. Chaplain Cassius, as I mentioned, got cheaper. And he's basically the same guy. Still movement six inches, weapon skill two up, ballistic skill three up, strength four, toughness five, four wounds, attack, three attacks, leadership nine, three up save. Um, yeah, basically everything is the same. Same style and weapon on my hits. He has a, a flamer, a uh, master of bolt gun. Uh, his special rules, they shall fear, Rosarius. Uh, he does have, he lost his, oh no, sorry, he just changed his inspired retribution once again to be Ultramarines. So it used to be World Days of Time of Friendly, oh sorry, so this is Ultramarines, so never mind, it's the same thing. So, um, roll a dice, each Time of Friendly Ultramarines modeled six inches chaplain Cassius is slain on a six plot, the unit is, uh, a unit that made the, that attack suffers in world. Captain Sicarius uh, is, let me go through this to compare, this is fun. Uh, yep, he's always movement six inches, weapon skill two up, let's skill two up, strength four, toughness four, five wounds, four attacks, there should nine, two up save, he's seven power points, so it's the same sound line as before as well. Sergeant Cronus, uh, you can have the same as a tank commander, so it's the stats of the vehicle as vehicle or Sergeant Cronus infantry. Um, as a points changed for him slightly. He's only plus two power as opposed to before he was plus three power points. So if you like to play with power points, he got cheaper and of course in, in the game points he got cheaper too. Um, basically exact same rules as before. So as I'm not gonna go over all the rules and details. I do apologize for that, but I just can't go over each HQ. For this Space Marines Codex, there's a lot right now. We're not even, like I'm on three pages for it so far, and there's still a whole lot more to go. 
Lysander is up next. And Lysander is the same Lysander as before. Of course, I love him. I'm going to take him in games. Movement, five inches. Women's skill, two up. Women's skill, two up. Strength, four. Toughness, four. Six wounds. Four attacks. This should nine. Two up save. He still has additional fear, iron, halo, and storm shield. Rides a battle. Teleport strike. Icon of obstinacy. Cool. Which is add one to the leadership of all friendly Imperial Fist units within six inches of Captain Lysander. Pedro Cantor of the Crimson Fists is movement six inches, weapon skill two up, blitz skill two up, strength four, toughness four, six wounds, four attacks, which are nine, two up save, has Dorn's arrow, which is a 24 inch range, assault four, strength four, AP minus one, D1. Power Fist, frag grenades, crack grenades. Um, you can reroll all failed hit rolls for friendly Crimson Fist units within six inches of Pedro Cantor. Oath Rin, all friendly Crimson Fist models, add one to their attacks characteristic while within six inches of Pedro Cantor. Iron Halo is a Forp save. Forp and Vulnerable save. So, cool stuff there. Um, he has now, of course, High Marshal Halbrecht. Weapons, uh, movement six inches, weapon skill two up. He's nine power points. I think he was before as well. Maybe he got cheaper as well. Let's take a look here. Scars, here we are. Yep, still nine power points. Still same High Marshal Halbrecht. Good stuff there. So nothing much change. As I said, there's not a lot of change. Really, this it's like a there's a few new additions, which we'll go over after in this in this um, Might as well skip to the additions, because yeah, the rest is pretty much the same. Ambrose Champion's the same. Grimaldus. Grimaldus actually did drop in points. Uh, let's see here. Grimaldus. Well, sorry, I just lost my Black Templar page. Ember's Champion. Oh, sorry, Ember's Champion did go down. Went from six power points to four power points and dropped in points cost as well. He's the same basically. Uh, Chaplain Grimaldus is the same six power points. I mean, same stat as before. Web Moon, six inches. Weapon skill, two up. Weapon uh, skill, three, three up. Strain four, toughness, four, four wounds, three attacks, so ship nine, three up save. Additional no fear, litanies of hate. You can reroll all failed to hit rolls in the fight phase for any friendly Black Templar units within six inches of him. Once again, it's going to come down to Conga Line. No matter what HQ you choose, the key is to Conga Line your units. So it's going to be this giant Conga Line game because that's how all the powers of B will work. So, of course, keep your guys close, just keep your HQ as close to the guys you want to buff, and that'll be working because now they can't join the squads, right? Makes sense. So, cool. Let's keep going here. And the weird thing, the difference between this codex and the previous ones is that they don't break it up by group. It's now just, you know, they have all the HQs in one section versus these specific chapters. Uh, Shrike is eight power points, same as before. Movement 12 inches, one skill two up, will skill two up. Strength four, toughness four, five wounds, five attacks, leadership nine, three up save. Uh, they still no fear, chapter master, of course. You can roll all fit failed to hit rolls for friendly Raven Guard units within six inches of Caitlin Strike. Strike, sorry. Wing Deliverance. You can reroll failed charge rolls for friendly Raven Guard jump pack units within six inches. Jump pack assault during deployment. You can set them up anywhere which is nine inches away from your opponent. Iron Halo. Cool. So now we have some of the new um, the new ones, which are the well, sorry. Next is just a section of captains. But there's Captain Cataphracty Armor, which is eight power points. Captain, five power points. Captain on bike, six power points. Primaris Captain, six power, power points. The big difference between um, the Cataphracty Armor is the you know better armor. So two up save, four inches mo mobility, uh, six wounds versus a Captain, which is six inch movement. Uh, they all have, you know, weapon skill two up, blitz skill two up, strength four, toughness four. Uh, the standard captain has five wounds, but giving a bike or cataphracty armor adds a wound, or primaris armor adds a wound. Four attacks, leadership nine, and uh, so it depends on the armor. Captain is three up save, cataphracty armor two up save, captain on bike three up save, primaris captain three up save. And cool stuff there. So the primaris captain, the reason why you would take him 
is he is armed with an auto bolt rifle. Like the bolt rifles are for the um, the Primaris guys, and the bolt rifles are better because they are master uh, Sorry, uh, he has a, a master crafted auto bolt rifle, and that's twenty four inch range, assault two, strength four, AP dash or sorry AP nothing D two, so he can do some damage. And then we have Captain and Gravis armor. Uh, Captain Gravis armor is movement five inches, weapon skill two up, skill two up, strength four, toughness five, six wounds, five attacks, leadership nine, three up save. And it comes with a master crafted power sword and bolt storm gauntlet. The bolt, bolt storm gauntlet is a shoot, has a both a shooting and an attack characteristic, a uh, melee. So shooting, it's 12 inch range, pistol three, strength four, AP nothing, D1. But in close combat, it's strength times two, AP minus three, DD three, so basically it's a power fist. And subtract one from the to hit roll. The librarian, as said, it has access to new psychic powers, and that's cool. And obviously there's the librarian in Primaris Armor, which is one of the new models, pretty cool looking model. I'll pick it up eventually, I'm guessing. But I already have a lot of librarians. Uh, a Primaris librarian is, um, Slightly more survivable, has one extra wound than a normal librarian has four wounds, primary librarians have five wounds. They both have movement six inches, weapon skill three up, will skill three up, strength four, toughness four, four attack, oh sorry, and also an extra attack for the primary marine. Uh, standard librarian has three attacks, the primary librarian has four attacks. Leadership nine, three up save. And there are, uh, the primary librarian is armed, armed with a four sword, a bolt pistol, and regular grenades, crack grenades. Um, the four sword, of course, is a melee weapon, strength user, AP minus three, DD three. You can say you could. Cool stuff. So just another primaries marine that you can take. And there's librarian terminator armor, which I mentioned dropped in points as well. Um, I believe he also dropped his power points. I think it was 10, now he's nine. Mm, that's okay. I can grab that after. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, chaplain, the Primaris Chaplain, which is a new entry into the Codex. I don't think there's a model yet for it. Maybe there'll be one soon. Tech Marines got significantly cheaper. They're four power points, and as I mentioned, they also went down in points cost as well. So that's never a bad thing. Uh, it's good to see some point drops. Of course, as I said, it would have been nice if this, eight, this Codex just came out a month ago instead of... Uh, instead of... No, but it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Right after. And one of the new entries to the Codex are Lieutenants. Uh, lieutenants are, uh, it contains one Lieutenant. It can include one additional Lieutenant, power, so they're, they're power rating four. And let's find out how much the coins are. I think there's 70 points each, I believe. Uh, lieutenant is 60 points. So that's kind of cool. So a Lieutenant, movement six inches, but weapon skill, Two up, plus skill three up, strength four, toughness four, four wounds, three attacks, leadership eight, three up save. So I'm not as good as, uh, as a captain, but that's okay. And each model is armed with a chain sword, a mastercraft bolt gun, a bolt pistol, frag grenades, and crack grenades. Uh, abilities, they shall fear, jump pack assault if you give them a jump pack, tactical precision, you can roll wound rolls of one for friendly chapter units that are within six inches of a lieutenant. In coming years, during deployment, all models in this unit must be set up at the same time, though they do not need to be set up in your coherency. From that point on, each lieutenant is treated as a separate unit. So basically you have multiple, two lieutenants in the same squad and split them up after after deployment. And then of course, because there's a, a lieutenant, there's a primaris lieutenant, which is, uh, is, you know, a primaris lieutenant has an extra wound and an extra attack as the other one, you know, as the movement towards primaris exists. I do agree, I'm gonna have to think about the Primaris versus standard guys. Um, I see arguments for both sides. Primaris Marines are better because points cost, you get twice the wounds, twice the number of attacks, but with the popularity that D will be in this condo, specifically, you know, multiple wounds, I think it'd be better to take a larger amount of single wound models as opposed to double wound models because they will just die to a LAS cannon, as will a normal Space Marine, but you only lose half the points. So it's up to you. So, reasons for each one. What do you guys think? Let's talk about that in the description below. Of course, I'll be going over that in great detail in one of my future videos about the troops of the East Space Marine, because there are only a few choices. Uh, Primary Lieutenants, done that one. So that's a cool one. And that's it. So those are the HQs in a nutshell. 
I kind of skimmed over. Uh, I had to go over all of them just because there were so many freaking entries for HQs. So many. So many entries. That's okay. Um, what do I think overall? Points cost-wise, they only got better. They either stayed the same or got better. Got cheaper. Uh, functionality, they're even better when combination with some of these Warlord traits. Um, I think it's going to be pretty fun to run some Space Marine HQs. Um, and as I said, there's no specific new formations or anything. So, but you can run them for you know we can run a bunch of HQs depending on which formation you bring, and uh, they're pretty powerful. If you like them before, you're going to like them now. That's basically it. And the new primary, the new lieutenants are pretty cool. They're like a cheaper captain. You know, not as good of buffs, not as good of leadership, but they're pretty handy. I got to sneeze in a sec. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, so they're pretty cool. I like the addition of lieutenants. I really do. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really care that much about the Primaris captain or librarian. They're cool, but if you really want to go towards Primaris, it's awesome. Extra wound, extra attack. Um, slightly better gun for the captain. But, uh, you know, it's cool. It's just the wave towards the, the new larger Space Marines. But uh, that's okay stuff. So what do you guys think of the new HQs in the new Space Marine Codex that came out today? Let's leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let's get a discussion going. I'm really interested in what you think, and that's the important part. Let's create a discussion on this codex, and let's talk about the new rules. So as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. Link in the description below if you want to support my campaign. Huge thank you to you for liking my video, subscribing to my channel, and commenting in the comment section down below. And I'll definitely see you in the next part where I'll go over the troops. And probably the troops and the... Um, maybe the new... Uh, ways of spending your command points. That'd be kind of fun too. The new stratagems would be kind of cool. So, yeah, let's talk about that too. So, yeah, let's talk about that in the next video. So, stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay Happy painting, everyone.